Hi everyone, I'm Alexandra and this is my first video tutorial on how to do a body weight squat. Okay guys, so I'm going to demonstrate a squat for you. So first when you get started, it's not very important how wide or narrow your feet are. It's basically when you first open up your feet, what is the most comfortable stance for you? Normally it will be shoulder width apart and your body will naturally adapt to that. So when you step your feet open, naturally you tend to go to about shoulder width. Your toes should be slightly pointed outwards and your chest should be nice and tall. All right, when you do a squat, you wanna sit and you wanna get as low as you can with your chest up and your knees apart. And you're gonna come right back up. Again, stay nice and tall. You wanna do a squat, you wanna get all the way down as deep as you can with your chest up and your knees apart. Full squat, down to the bottom, and up. Always thinking about being nice and tall and bracing your core. So now that I'm in the bottom of the squat, I want you to notice a few things. My chest is up nice and tall, my core is engaged, um, my knees are right above my toes. My heels are placed firmly on the ground, I can lift my toes up because my weight is in my heels, my weight is also centered around my glutes. All right, I look like, if anything, a toddler playing with their toys. So my chest is tall, I'm not leaning forward like this. My butt isn't up in the air, it's down towards the ground. And this is how you should properly squat. Okay guys, so as I demonstrated the first proper squat, if you can't achieve that posture where your back is nice and straight, your chest is up, and you can't achieve that depth, the box squat is the perfect thing to do to start to engage your glutes and your posterior chain a little bit more. So when you sit on the box, it will help to strengthen your glutes, it'll help to strengthen your hamstrings, and it'll help you practice getting depth while maintaining proper posture. If you are having your heels lift in your squat once you compare it to mine, or you're leaning forward, or your knees are caving in, um, here are some things that you can do on your own to help improve your flexibility, mobility, and to get a better looking squat. So first of all, when your heels are lifting, make sure you're stretching your calves on a regular basis and foam rolling, and focusing on putting pressure into your heels so that they can stay on the ground when you're doing your squat. If your knees are caving in, think about ripping a piece of paper in the middle of your knees apart every time you squat. So you're always thinking about separating those knees. If you're leaning forward, always think about being tall, embracing your core, and start using the box squat. Once you get more flexibility in your hips, then you can start focusing on doing it on the floor without the box. Also stretching again your hips, your hip flexors, doing leg swings, those sorts of warm-ups to get your hips primed and ready to go so that you can get your, into your squat a little bit better. Okay, well, there'll be more videos coming your way teaching you various exercises and hoping to help you guys all achieve your fitness and lifestyle goals. Thank you again for watching. Bye for now.